where 3,000 Hezbollah terrorists were targeted specifically... How do you know that? What do you mean? How do I know that? You just said 3,000 Hezbollah terrorists were targeted. How many was it? I don't know. I'm asking you. made the claim. How that do you is know what's 3, been reported. By do who? you dispute that? Yeah, I dispute everything Israel says. They lied the for real a year, You don't know the real number. But I didn't give a number. You did. Well, what has been the number from, from the other side? I didn't give a number. You said 3,000 terrorists. I'm wondering why... That is what's been reported. Un- no, it's not reported. It's what's said by Israel. Or it says what, what's said by people speaking on behalf of Israel. So you, do you, was a little girl Israel who died? Has, Israel, was a little, hang on. Israel hasn't even said it, did it? They have in private. It's been reported widely. To, you. to go, No, to the American government. Okay, but let's been, say they said it publicly. They haven't. But Obviously, I killed. believe they did it, right? But I believe they did it, but too. But you're saying they said so you, this in public. You just gave a 3,000 number, and I'm wondering... Yeah. A li- I just saw a little girl's funeral last week. Was she a Hezbollah terrorist, in your view? No. So then why did you say 3,000 terrorists? There was I a kid killed. No, I was about to say that in the process of targeting very specifically, in an extraordinarily outdoit, whichever way in you In a terror it. attack? Well, it, that's, that's what I'm going to come to. So they target 3,000 Hezbollah terrorists with their pages, walkie-talkies and so on. In the process, a small comparative to that... War number, crime, by the way. A small number of civilians oh. get killed, which is obviously deplorable. But my point to you is, but... if someone's been chucking rockets over for a year at you and your people. You've had to display 60,000 people from the north. The thing that he's so oblivious to, this sounds like he's describing Gaza and what Israel's doing, but what he's trying to do is describe Israel and what Hezbollah is doing. But if you listen to the words, it sounds like he is describing Gaza and Israel being the uh, the attackers. Yeah, at you and your people. You've had to display 60,000 people from the north of your country like because Gaza. of this relentless bombardment. From Israel. And you eventually respond in such a precise, targeted fashion. OK. Right? And in the process, some civilians are killed, which is never acceptable, can never be condoned, never be yeah. supported. But if it is right, as has been widely reported by all mainstream media, yeah. that 3,000 terrorists has... Uh, people associated with Hezbollah. Were, were, Not everybody in Hezbollah were, were, is a terrorist. But. OK. But okay, like a driver, a nurse. Three thousand members of Hezbollah were Maybe. targeted, right? Yeah, that's about it. So the point that he was making was, when you just repeat the talking points, and look, everyone's been a victim of uh, been a. Uh, I've probably done that from time to time, but we do like to go. Even when you put up that photo before Chewy of the uh, Atlas meeting, I'm like, I like to check to make sure that is what that actually is. Where's that come from? We should double check because we will always try our hardest not to just to put out their talking points. But there you go, Chewy. Look. We pretty much got through all the tra- all the clips. It's mm. gone longer. People have stayed, so they wanted to see it. Um, go and watch the whole thing. I've seen people saying they can't watch the whole thing. Um, but there you go. Oh, gosh. Is this good or bad? Piers Morgan is a Sean Plunkett of the UK. <laughs> who, who, does it, who does that insult more? I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Pro- pro- that probably insults Piers Morgan more, to be honest. The, the only way that Piers Morgan's arguments even come close to working is that October 7th was a starting point. And it is not. And I have said this so many times. If you want to understand what is happening now, you need to have a look at what's happened before. You need to see the pattern of behavior in Gaza, in the West Bank, in Israel, Israel's relations with Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine, Egypt, the the whole thing. Like, we, we have such a conflicted attitude globally towards Israel because of the Holocaust, because Israel, for a long time, was a Western bastion against a Middle Eastern area that was heavily allied with the Soviet Union. Mm. It is drummed into us generationally that we need to stand for Israel as this bastion, as as Piers said, of liberal democracy and because we let the Jews get murdered wholesale in the 40s. Now, there are so many Jews worldwide that are standing up and going, the reason that we stand against what Israel is doing here is because of the Holocaust. Yeah, yeah. They are doing the same, the torture, the putting people in camps, the indiscriminate punishment murders that the Nazis did. The fact that Netanyahu and his regime want you to equate the Israeli state to all Jews. And so if you criticize the Israeli state's action, then you are anti-Jew, you are anti-Semitic, and they know that reaction that that has with anybody that feels guilty about what happens during World War II. Now, 
I think it's pretty clear that this whole conflict and this wholesale murder and these terrorist attacks on both sides can be stopped tomorrow if America cancelled all of their aid and parked a carrier battle group in the Mediterranean and enforced a no-fly zone and intercepted anything that took off. Any rocket from Hezbollah or Hamas or whatever is left, anything that launches from an airfield in Israel, we could stop this tomorrow. But nobody has the stones to do it because we're not in a Tom Clancy book and these big things just don't happen. Mm -hmm.